terrestrial animals are animals that live predominantly or entirely on land, as compared with aquatic animals, which live predominantly or entirely in the water, or amphibians, which rely on a combination of aquatic and terrestrial habitats. Terrestrial invertebrates include ants, flies, crickets, grasshoppers and snails. Terrestrial classes. The term terrestrial is typically applied for species that live primarily on the ground, in contrast to arboreal species, which live primarily in trees. There are other less common terms that apply to specific groups of terrestrial animals. Saxicolus are rock dwelling creatures. Saxicolus is derived from the Latin word saxum, which means rocks. Arini colors creatures live in the sand. Troglixenes predominantly live in caves. Dot. Taxonomy. Terrestrial invasion is one of the most important events in the history of life. Terrestrial lineages evolved in several animal phyla, among which vertebrates, arthropods, and mollusks are representatives of more successful groups of terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals do not form a unified clade, rather, they share only the fact that they live on land. The transition from an aquatic to terrestrial life has evolved independently and successfully many times by various groups of animals. Most terrestrial lineages originated under a milder tropical climate during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic, whereas few animals became fully terrestrial during the Cenozoic. When excluding internal parasites, free-living species in terrestrial environments are represented by the following ten phyla. Flatworms, Nematia, Nematoda, Rotifers, Tardigrada, Onychophora, Arthropods, Mollusks, Annelida and Chordata. Roundworms, Tardigrades, and Rotifers are microscopic animals that require a film of water to live in and are not considered truly terrestrial. Flatworms, Rib and worms, velvet worms and annelids all depend on more or less moist habitats, as do the arthropod centipedes and millipedes. The three remaining phyla, arthropods, mollusks and chordates, all contain species that have adapted totally to dry terrestrial environments, and contain species that have no aquatic phase in the life cycles. Difficulties labeling an animal species, terrestrial or aquatic, is often obscure and becomes a matter of judgment. Many animals considered terrestrial have a life cycle that is partly dependent on being in water. Penguins, seals, and walruses sleep on land and feed in the ocean, yet they are all considered terrestrial. Many insects, e.g., mosquitoes, and all terrestrial crabs, as well as other clades, have an aquatic life cycle stage. Their eggs need to be laid in and to hatch in water. After hatching, there is an early aquatic form, either an impha larva. There are crab species that are completely aquatic, crab species that are amphibious, and crab species that are terrestrial. Fiddler crabs are called semi-terrestrial, since they make burrows in the muddy substrate to which they retreat during high tides. When the tide is out, fiddler crabs search the beach for food. The same is true in the mollusca. Many hundreds of gastropod genera and species live in intermediate situations, such as for example, truncatula. Some gastropods with gills live on land, and others with a lung live in the water. As well as the purely terrestrial and the purely aquatic animals, there are many borderline species. There are no universally accepted criteria for deciding how to label these species thus some assignments are disputed. Terrestrialization. Fossil evidence has shown that sea creatures, likely related to arthropods, first began to make forays onto land around 530 million years ago. There is little reason to believe, however, that animals first began living reliably on land around this same time period. 
A more likely hypothesis is that these early arthropods' motivation for venturing onto dry land was to mate to lay eggs out of the reach of predators. As time went on, evidence suggests that by approximately 375 million years ago, the bony fish best adapted to life in shallow coastal, swampy waters were much more viable as amphibians than were their arthropod predecessors. Thanks to relatively strong muscular limbs and lungs which existed in conjunction with gills. Tiktaalik and animals like it were able to establish a strong foothold on land by the end of the Devonian period. As such they are likely the most recent common ancestor of all modern tetrapods. Terrestrial gastropods. Gastropod mollusks are one of the most successful animals that have diversified in the fully terrestrial habitat. They have evolved terrestrial taxa in more than nine lineages. They are commonly referred to as land snails and slugs. Terrestrial invasion of gastropod mollusks has occurred in Neurotopsina, Cyclophroidia, Litrinoidia, Rhizoidia, Elabioidia, Onchidioidia, Veroniceloidia, Succinioidia, and Stylometophora, and in particular, each of Neurotopsina, Rhizoidia, and Elabioidia has likely achieved land invasion more than once. Most most terrestrialization events have occurred during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic. Gastropods are especially unique due to several fully terrestrial and epifaunal lineages that evolved during the Cenozoic. Some members of Rhizoidian families Truncatelidae, Asimoniidae, and Pomatiopsidae are considered to have colonized to land during the Cenozoic. Most truncatelid and assimilated snails amphibiously live in intertidal and supertidal zones from brackish water to pelagic areas. Terrestrial lineages likely evolved from such ancestors. The Rhizoidian gastropod family Pomatiopsidae is one of the few groups that have evolved fully terrestrial taxa during the late Cenozoic in the Japanese archipelago only. Shifts from aquatic to terrestrial life occurred at least twice within two Japanese endemic lineages in Japanese Pomatiopsidae and it started in the late Miocene. About one-third of gastropod species is terrestrial. In terrestrial habitats they are subjected to daily and seasonal variation in temperature and water availability. The success in colonizing different habitats is due to physiological, behavioral, and morphological adaptations to water availability, as well as ionic and thermal balance. They are adapted to most of the habitats on Earth. The shell of a snail is constructed of calcium carbonate, but even in acidic soils one can find various species of shell-less slugs. Interestingly, land snails also live in deserts where they miscontent with heat and aridity. 